Hey everybody, what is up? This is Mr. Extraordinary back with yet another video. This is Africa is Next Podcast. Yeah, Ooh. we are back. The awesome, foursome, as Stephen will call it. It is myself, Mr. Extraordinary, with Stephen Ohala, with uh, Zanazuko and Bugmeister. So I'd like all three of these guys to introduce themselves. Let us start with Buckmeister. Hey, what is up, everybody? It's your boy Buckmeister. Cool, trust the nice that you are used to. Shablamson. I am currently stuck in Hueco Mundo, so please, please forgive uh, the, the facelessness for now. Uh, but anyway, I have two channels that you can check me out on. It's Buckmeister Cool Reacts and Meister Geek Media. Uh, recast the Chala campaign across all my social media. Yo, guys, I must tell you after we do the pod, the amount of fighting I've been doing today on this the Chala campaign. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> um, check out Black Panther vs. Kang on Webtoons. Three issues are out now and all of that good stuff. Please read all three, leave a comment on Webtoons, share it around. I'm also running a Kofi. Uh, I have a Kofi page, uh, Master, Master Geek Media on the Kofi page that you can donate so that I can start working on the Black Panther versus Kang animation. And uh, yeah, that is everything from my side. Let's what is uh, what is Kofi? Is it like a, like a crowdfunding thing? Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's um yeah. Basically, it's like a website where you can like donate to your favorite artist and give them a dollar or whatever, or you can help them reach a target. So currently, I have a target of trying to get five hundred dollars. I've raised thirty-two dollars so far. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, to fund the Black Panther versus Kang animation thing. Spirit oh. bump that bitch. Cool man. Everybody, um, let your energy. Send us your your link. We'll put it in the description. Um, oh, yeah. And then uh, we have the Belohan. Hi. I'm going to try and be as PG-13 as possible with the intro. Apparently, last week I did some things that make people question themselves. Apparently. There was no apparent about it. <laughs> Hello, ladies Simo. and gentlemen. I am a completely non-AI generated voice brought to you by Tibalo Hala in, co- in cooperation of Hala Corp, aka KC Media. We want you to Okay, I don't know what the script is here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the teleprompter, the teleprompter guy didn't give him the whole thing, buddy. No, I had to fire him today, so I, I guess it's, he says some profanities in the, in the teleprompter. I heard. <laughs> uh, we fire, we go through a teleprompter a week, so I don't know why why this one is extra spicy. I don't understand why they keep why they keep applying for for jobs these teleprompter guys. <laughs> they keep getting fired. I don't get it. But anyway, please yeah, Well, there's a difference between getting a job and being an unpaid intern. So <laughs> the economy is bad. <laughs> yes, in fact, they're paying us to apply for the job. It's a <laughs> <laughs> the brown envelope situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we they are paying us for the honor of being of enhancing the CV. See, so that's how it's working. Kickbacks. <laughs> anyway, political entity. <laughs> you know, um, what. Okay, uh, guys, you can find me in. Well, we have a YouTube channel, KC Media. We've got the Neck Gaz and Podcast. We've got the Geek Spot. And we've got a few other goodies that are on the pipeline, finally. We are 110 subscribers in. Mm-hmm. Join us in our campaign for 1,000 subscribers. It's officially going to be launching this weekend. Um, my name and say name in all social medias, even the old uh, score on Facebook. I, I'm there. Um, I'm I'm friendlier than I look. I'm less raunchy in person. I hope. Mm. Questions for later. And <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to be part of this show. We're gonna discuss all this bleach nonsense. And the part, I think I'm at the stage where I'm no longer no longer the the resident encyclopedia. So I'm excited about where this is going. Awesome, awesome. Um. Yeah, check out uh, Tabalohala on KC Media. Um, he do, he did mention that um, there are only 110 subscribers, which is great. Also, he has Netgrasm and he has the Geek Spot. We had someone recently, the um, a co-founder of 
Afro Geek Media. If you want to know what that is about, do check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. And we have Zanuzuku. Yeah, I thought I was frozen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think we've gotten to the point where we've learned how not to react when someone's frozen. We're just like, you know, keep going. Because <laughs> yeah. we'll if we give attention to the fact that someone's frozen, people also automatically notice. I've noticed things that I that we get away with while these cameras are recording because someone's talking and then someone else is doing something in the background. And you think I don't notice when I'm busy editing. I see you. You're supposed to see us. You're editing. Yeah, <laughs> but it's because... That does sound like a principle. It's like, hey, wait. <laughs> there are some people who are talking about what up, what up, everybody? Kizuko Mona, aka the Fire Lord, Prince Z. Oh, yeah. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, uh, sorry, I'm very tired. I had such a long yesterday. <sighs> Let me recompose myself. Yes. Welcome. Let's enjoy. Are are to bua di popisi za go Japan. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah, let us go. We're going to be doing the full brink arc. Um we have finished basically with the I guess you could say the main storyline for the most part of Bleach. Mm -hmm. because even the way it ends, uh the two main characters that we get introduced to in the first chapter, which is Ichigo and Rukia um well basically ichigo doesn't have access to rukia anymore you know he loses his powers so he, he cannot even access her like he used to anymore so you could say that it was going to be a beautiful ending if we didn't have the full brain but uh i guess it was all right Season five yeah. of supernatural no. that's all i'm saying <laughs> It would have been know. a good ending. It would have been bittersweet. It would have been a bittersweet ending, mm. but it would have been a good ending because he did what he needed to do. Right. Um, he remember Ichigo was this. He was he was with people, but he was a loner. Was still a loner, and really only him and Chad were like really close. He, I mean, he had friends, but he was always on on the outside of his friend group. And except only him and Chad were really tight. And that's because they were trying, because he was also trying to fight something and Chad was trying to fight something. So because of that, they, they, they got drawn close together. So at the end of this arc, he's more chilling with his friends. He's more, you know, he's not now hiding away from them. Um, he's dealt with the pain of uh, losing his mom. Right. He's yeah, and he's grown up, you know, having ha having had to protect his friends, having had to save the world, basically, from uh, from uh, Aizen Sama. So, Aizen. It, 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 I think it it would have been a beautiful if Bleach ended right then and there, no full bring, no uh, thousand year uh, uh, war. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean, perfect is questionable because we brought up a lot well, of... Well, no, obviously not like perfect. I mean, there's a lot of things, but I'm just saying, I'm talking like in terms of the ending, the ending would have been perfect. Let me... Let me... The, story, the story was complete at that point. Yeah, time. the story was complete. There was like no need to add any more. There was no need to... Because yeah, remember, awesome. remember at this time, we also, we didn't know that Ichigo's mom... Did we know that Ichigo's mom was a uh, Quincy at this time? No. Oh. No, we didn't. So didn't Ichigo's dad explain that to him at the? No, he that was retconned in the most disgusting manner. I know because mm -hmm. I was there. But for as far as everybody knew, at that point he was just a human and a shinigami. Yeah. So it would have been uh, uh, a proper ending because we knew why he had uh, hollow powers because um, when the hollow attacked his mom, he was there. We knew why he had sh Shinigami powers. His dad is a Shinigami. And we knew why they were so OP. His dad was a captain level Shinigami. And he was royalty. Because remember, the Shiba clan is, uh, is is one of the four royal families of uh, of the Soul Society. So 
technically, actually, when you when when you realize it, um, Ichigo is is a level below uh, Byakuka, and only because he's not a family head, but he could be a family head in the future. Then they could be on the same level. Basically, term- Ichigo. At this point, Ichigo had the same level of bloodline dynamics as 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 Naruto in, in well Naruto. Yeah, because <laughs> because the title is named after the main character. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, I, I was just saying that each, if you look at Naruto as well, he's got fourth Hokage. He's also Uzumaki. He's you know you can see that now it's, it's that- but. The fourth Okage was just a beast because he was a beast. It was nothing like special about his bloodline. But what yeah, special... but um, also, but, but he was he was still powerful. But he was still powerful. Like he was a descendant of a powerful person. I think that's also the, mm-hmm. the connotation was, in that. Like the story. Now, when it comes to the basically family the story time... of Gohan, in a way, like your dad was this big guy who saved the world and whatever. I was specifically oh, referring to the Uzumaki in this case that the that family was so good that all the other fam all the other villages had to unite and, and wipe them out. So Naruto's bloodline is kind of up there. <laughs> we, actually, I, mean, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind a little. Um, is is there this... a, is there a, a, an Uzumaki story? Like we know what the exact reason why they did them, who was involved. I should actually research that. I'll check that out. The whole thing is, to give you a quick summary, the whole thing is like they were known for legendary sealing techniques. So their clan guys never got old. Like, so basically they were able to like extend their life and they had this crazy experienced fighting force and they were also cousins of the Senju. So they also had Senju things happening within them. So basically it was a whole thing of they were so powerful that other nations feared them at the time. And because they were close to the first, they could call upon the first whenever, and the first is the first. Mm. So they basically wanted to try and take them off the map to try and weaken the land of fire. That was the basic idea from what I remember. Okay. Makes sense, even though it's fucked up. Anyway, hey. we'll leave that for the narrator <laughs> review. We are getting closer and closer. I love that we leave uh, we're living hints. Yeah, living hints at, in every other video, <laughs> detailing to the epic release. Just just leave, myself, but we're just leaving kunai everywhere. Every tree we pass off bleach arcs, we're just living kunai everywhere. <laughs> I, I first up in myself for that arc, you guys, you don't know. <laughs> anyway, getting back to bleach. Uh, here's the thing about the full bringer, right? I think Kubo made one mistake. And he should have, and if he didn't make this, no, because he made the same mistakes that he usually makes. It's fine. Those mistakes we used to do. <laughs> so I'm not worried about that. I think he just made one mistake that could have actually made it perfect. If, what was his name? Jugo? Ginjo. Right, there we go. Yeah. Because that's the guy we get introduced to. Ginjo, he's this, you know, smooth guy, whatever, whatever. Apparently there's this whole backstory about how they need to get rid of their hollow powers or whatever because full bringer is like charged by a hollow energy or something i can't remember exactly mm-hmm. I, I think that's the case i think it's because they all been touched by hollows that they got these abilities or full bring or whatever and it's like connected to something you have an emotional connection with or so whatever they didn't, mm-hmm. they were just killed by hollows they just they were just it's basically how Ichigo got his his hollow power. Or like he he there was an interact. There was an incident that happened, and then a hollow was involved, and it planted a a seed, for lack of a better word, in in those people. And uh, because um, they were they had high riatsu mm. naturally, but not high enough to to like uh, be very dangerous. You know, so basically, if um, those guys, the full, the full bring guys, if they passed away, they'd be eligible to be sh- sh- uh, Shinigami because of their high reatsu. Okay. So they'd be able to yeah. go to uh, Shino, um, Shinigami school and train and stuff. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like yeah, so that's and I basically mean, it. particularly like the full bringer abilities, it's just mem- it, it 
it just mimics like the captain's or like a Shinigami's abilities or whatever to a certain extent. You know, mm. like you can come on a sword, you can hop on the air, all of those things. Now, I think the mistake Kubo made is he tried to pull Aizen again with Gindro. If you get what I'm saying. I wish that was the only mistake, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Uh, the manipulation thing. And I'm saying that if Gindro was actually just a good guy that mm-hmm. got killed on Ichigo's watch, mm-hmm. it would be one of the best arcs in Bleach. Here's why. Because basically it would be the first time Ichigo's ever failed at his narrative arc in the entire series, and he would have to get over that. But wait, um, would we have really bought... Not necessarily, but would we have really felt sorry for Gendro because in our minds, wouldn't we have thought that Ichigo doesn't have his full powers, that's why he couldn't save him? Even no, though it's a failure. I mean, even though, yes, you're right, he couldn't but save I'm him. Ichigo, that wouldn't make a difference. He's not the type of character that's going to give himself the handicap. If he couldn't do it, he'd punish himself for that forever. So mm. seeing an fair enough, because he, he that was helping was, people even he does have a mortal complex. Before you had yeah. powers, so yeah. seeing him have that emotional hurdle and having to get over that, and Gindro being somebody who was a substitute Shinigami as well, but decided to at least keep hunting hollows or doing the best that he can with the people that he has. But then those guys felt like, you know, Soul Society was doing things, we need to get back at Soul Society. Gindro disagrees, Tsukushima kills him off. And now Ichigo has to balance those two extremes. Because remember, Soul Society also apparently did Ginjo dirty. So Soul Society, Society moves like the CIA, not man. Anyone dirty. Soul Society moves like the CIA. They're well, like, they, 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 a wonderful they, organization they, that does wonderful things. But actually, in reality... That's, that, that's, that's Soul Society. If you look at every single one of their films, uh, even though they're non-canon, but if you pay attention to all the movies, it's so society discovers something. So society has this ridiculous rule that that underhands somebody, and then somebody gets yeah, released. Like, and comes like, back Diamond, to <laughs> like Diamond does rebellion just because you guys have even, even the fe- even the fellow arcs, uh, the um, the Bantu, they screwed over those Bantu guys, and then they try Ouch. to cover it up instead of. What? Did we just say Bantu? Think- <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if you're if you if you if you're reading the subtitles, it's, it's Bounto, isn't it? Ah, uh, Bounto, Bounto. We we don't care. Like, Those guys. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, we learned that Soul Society was a proponent for Bantu education back in the <laughs> party time. <laughs> Bantu, Bounto, Boneba. The um, that captain who came back, he was also screwed over. Uh, the one who yeah. became the third squad captain temporarily. He was also screwed over by Soul Society. That's basically Soul Society is the CIA, bro. Like, but what I'm saying is, imagine if Ginjo took like a Itachi like attitude towards the whole thing, or even like a, a a Gin attitude towards the whole thing, where he's like, "Yeah, they're a problem, but they're solving things, so I should probably stay loyal to them, even though they screwed me over." And then at the end of that, he gets killed off on Ichigo's watch. I really think that would have been a huge emotional hurdle thing that Ichigo would have I, had to go over. And then I, I see have... what you're implying, yeah. and I do see the merit of it actually. But yeah. um, this comes from a season for me. I was still, I, I was still suffering from post, uh, post. Uh, As in, I was about to say something wrong. She, I'm trying to censor myself. <laughs> Each war, each war, I'm saying, each war. You what I'm saying. Like, you see what I'm saying? It's the whole thing of he mm. did eyes already. He, we yeah, did the so, manipulation yeah, already. Yeah, so we, we needed a different flavor of villain. It's a straight narrative. Hmm. Yeah, and I'm mm. saying all, somebody dying on Ichigo's watch has never happened mm. in this True. series. Oh, except for mom. But you don't talk about mom. He was, but he, he was a kid. He was a kid. But, and and even then. And he still blamed himself. That's why he was always uh, doing all the these things. He was all, that's why he was always helping people out. He'd help the soccer team be the goalkeeper. He'd help the track star, the track team finish a leg. He would help 
the old lady across the street. He was because he felt he should have helped his mom in that situation. But and, that would have been spirit. that would have been a good narrative uh, plot actually, if if that actually reminded him of the the other failure, which is his mom, whether he was a kid or not, mm. in a good way. To, to so like emotional. we go in, like even when we open on Bleach in the first episodes, he's randomly helping ghosts all the time. Yeah. yeah. So like he's then, just randomly he was helping everyone. He was just like yeah. a helpful so, dude. So to summarize, Backmaster suggests that we should have traumatized Ichigo a little more. Yeah. Hey, Basically. look, dog, he's a shonen protagonist. Like trauma. Uh, so how many traumas have been in there? Did we go more to trauma central? <laughs> I mean uh-huh. the, I, I'm, I'm just gonna be on the level with you guys. I'm I'm basically Eisen in jail right now. I uh, I read the manga. I never watched the animated version. I and woo. I've never found manga so boring that it actually put me to sleep up until I started reading this this arc. So I was like, oh okay, just like open the page and <sighs> you read it. I didn't read or watch anything. I just watched the recap. So. Oh, I mean, look, there's some cool stuff in here. Like oh, there's that, did, yeah. There's some cool stuff in here, like the black girl with the dirty boots. Uh, she was one mm. of my, she was one of my favorite designs. Uh, girl with dirty boots. Yes. Is she a full bringer? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The, the the more dirty her boots is, the more powerful she becomes. Am I correct? Wait, what? Yeah. Yes. Wait. And the boots wait, have wait, a little engine in there, so that makes it dirty. How does that system work? It's full what? bringer. Should it make sense? <laughs> well, she's attracted. To, makes sense. It's 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 attracted to the it, the whole thing is like their powers are uh, you know tied to their traumatic backstory. So as oh. a little, girl, she had this whole thing of um, what's this? I don't know. Like something happened with her parents, or her parents died, or whatever, and she was a little girl, and like the only thing she managed to retain was the boots. So basically, those boots helped her throughout life and everything. I don't remember the exact backstory, but basically, she just has an emotional attachment to these boots that she lost because she she lost her family or whatever. And the boots are the only thing that have been keeping her together. So with Full Bringer, the whole thing is you have an emotional attachment to something, and that's where you draw your power out of. Yeah. That's why Ichigo was able to Full Bring out of the um, the Shinigami, Shinigami. badge or whatever. And then, Substitute then with the guy who makes you, who gives you quasi amnesia. Oh, Chukusima, where he can insert himself in your memories, type of thing. That's so, actually a pretty. That's a pretty cool power. I'm brother, saying like, it would have just been. been the villain. He should have just been the villain. If he was just the villain, I feel like this arc would have been so much stronger. But I think people would have been pissed off because his abilities is getting is getting dangerously close to Eisen's. Ah, dude! Every like, come on! How like, many like, do, how many dojutsu mm-hmm. do we have, Oto? Where it's all eye power? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. all shadow clone or whatever. You're right. I just yeah, want to, I just have a question for you guys. Like, there's a part in the Thousand Year Blood War where it shows God. Is it Ganjo, uh, Ichigo's cousin? Yes. He's mm. collected by a group of... Ah, uh, those are the full bring. I For think. training. Mm. I haven't that, watched the... That, no, I don't no. remember that. I yeah, don't remember that. You guys don't the remember that. I yeah, remember the image. I think it is them. I'm not sure. I do remember the... Oh, from reading the manga, and once again, stifling the extra gouge out of my eyes, I do... I do remember that particular frame. It looked like them, though. It looked like Tsukishiba was there, actually. Yeah. Like, well, well, no, he was there because he does feature in the last uh, few episodes of the um, of the Thousand Year Blood War. I don't know if they're going to change it or not. You should I should I spoil it for you guys? Should I tell you what happens? No. Uh... I've read it, but I can't remember, so I think I'll just go back and read it. Okay, you can spoil it. Spoil no, it. I, 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 tr- I tried reading yeah. the, the Blood Yo arc. It literally turned me off the manga. I couldn't understand what was going on. It, it, it was not making sense. Oh, wow. You know, I feel so vindicated. I feel yeah, like I, I feel seen. I feel heard. Some cool like, stuff. 
<laughs> when, when, when so, it's like when somebody understands my trauma, and then somebody's like, I get your trauma. You know that feeling you have? You're like, oh, so I'm not crazy. Okay. <laughs> anyway, no, uh, to, to cool memory guy, he helps Ichigo restore his sword after the, after, uh, what is his name? Juha, or Yuaba, or whatever his name is. Yuaba. Yuaba. Yeah, Yaba destroys his bankai almost immediately. <laughs> so what happens is that he stabs, I think, Ichigo, and then inserts himself into a, it, it, it sets the sword in a timeline where before it was actually destroyed, so that Inoue can restore the sword back to its original. Because the biggest retcon in the history of retcons, suddenly if a bankai breaks, you can't re- you can't restore the sword. What the hell? Okay, we'll come back. But wait a minute. Um, so the full bringer are, are not the bad guys? No, they are. Yeah, I'll explain In why. In this arc. In this arc, yes. I'll explain why. Yes, I, I mean, know. again, the whole thing is to get back at Soul Society. Because basically, Soul Society... So they, they, they're bad guys by default because they're going against the Soul Society. Not because yes. what they're doing is wrong. Yeah, um, it's a it's a ridiculously stupid convoluted plan. The, the the aim from what I gather is that they wanted to use Ichigo to get it, to gather his power so they can get back at Soul Society. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, they wanted the Ichigo to get his powers back, and then use his powers to harm Soul Society. And then when is he finds like no casualties in this one. And no, no, no. I think they wanted the to Ichigo to get his power, and then. His power was gonna boost their power. Yes. And then they go and uh, fuck up soul society. And then when he finally gets it, so they took his full bringer powers away at that point, and they're like, "Oh shit, things bad." And then Shank Urahara stabs him with a sword. And guess what that means? This was when uh, stabs Ichigo. Yeah, this is when Kubo. Because, like, the other thing that kind of... This is what I'm saying. Gindro being a bad guy, it didn't make sense. It was like, bro, if this Gindro. guy was... Just, if this guy was just a good guy... Like, do the inverse. Everybody pick, pegged Gindro as a bad guy yeah. immediately. They were like, ah, that's the bad guy, Moose. That's the guy who's going to trick. And then it's like, why are you talking to him? Ichigo, yada, yada, yada. So, oh, yeah, please. subvert it. Make him oh, the oh, good please. guy. Yeah. Uh, I knew he was not two things I knew about Genjo. One, he was going to be the bad guy. Two, he was just he was just cannon fodder. Do you know how I know this? What's the name of his bankai? Don't worry, I'll wait. Who? <laughs> his bankai. That's the name of his bankai. <laughs> oh, no ways. You can search it. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> I kid you not. He didn't have a shit guy. Actually, he just went straight bankai. He just went, went straight bankai. Is that... <laughs> is bankai, he, never... bankai. he never calls out his name. Never once he hear bankai. It's bankai. Done. <laughs> Guys, so why did Ginto get fired? Why was why why is he replaced as a substitute Shinigami? What did he do? I'm trying to understand the. Well, Apparently, uh, he found out the society was spying on him, and he felt he felt somehow he felt somewhat yeah it was that whole about thing it. Of, yeah yeah it was that whole thing of they don't I, I, trust. I'm you. you see that you see you see that, that you see that emblem they gave you. Mm-hmm. The one with the skull that Ichigo has to signify that he's a substitute Shinigami. Yeah. The truth is that it, yeah. that it doesn't serve as an emblem to signify his substitute Shinigami. It says that whenever one is around. They give him that it serves as a surveillance tool to monitor whether this person is at risk or not. And if he's dangerous enough, so society will, go, will be dispatched to take him out. So, what did he do that seemed dodgy? Well, he found out that they're basically apparently, watching him. He wasn't dodgy at all. Like, apparently, um, he was he growing was in power. Guy. Yeah, so apparently he was all kosher, everything was fine, and then Soul Society sent assassins after him, and then he was like, well, yeah, <laughs> so me and now we have beef. And that's, that's, their, that's, that's their rivalry. Wait. And, 
and all the full bringer people basically got attacked by the soul society also you know, along you know the- you know what i'm enjoying about this <laughs> i've seen Extra flow, slowly realize that's how ridiculous this actually is. So, uh, like, the thing is, I'm trying to understand why they would send a good guy, like, why they would send assassins to a good guy who's not doing anything at all. Like, uh, uh, they're the CIA. This is why does Soul Society ever rational? The other thing is, right? Soul Society, like, the only reason they let Ichigo kind of be is because basically, he, he basically. For what's this in the first arc of Soul Society when he stopped the whole execution thing, he he unraveled a bigger conspiracy. Yeah. And then after that, he went to Hueco Mondo and you know did things there in Hueco Mondo that also put the Soul Society up one. So he was helping them. He was beneficial. He was beneficial to Soul Society directly. Mm. Ginjo never had big things like that. So they he never was the they, ordinary was, substitution he was just, doing his job. Nothing. I mean, yeah. There was so, no reason to pull the plot behind. Yeah. So basically, there was a whole thing of he was growing in power, and they had an issue with it. <gasps> I mean, Central Forty Seven. Is that is that the is that the people? Yeah. Yes. Isn't it Forty Six? Oh, uh, Forty Six. Central Forty Six. They yeah, always have. Wrong. Let me look it up. Yeah, maybe it's Forty Seven. Who knows? But I think it's Forty Six. Because yeah, hey, at, at this point, I did not care. About I'm saying we know who I'm talking about. Yes, they've been notorious for making terrible decisions. Like Rukia's execution, that was them, and they had no evidence that Rukia did anything. No, wrong. no, no. That, that was Eisen. That was Eisen. That was Eisen. He was manipulating that. Remember? But they gave no, the official because he order. said it's. No, they didn't. The oh, moment, what? the oh, moment well, Eisen find, found out that Rukia is in, so, is in the real world, he slaughtered uh, Central Forty Six. Oh, so the order yeah, to they... go retrieve her and the order to execute and to uh, the order to execute her were all done by Eisen. Yeah, but I mean, the Central Forty Six have never like struck me as people who are competent yeah. anyway. Okay, I was right. It's Central Forty Six. They're not compassionate, that's for sure. But yeah, yeah thing that for I don't the get fact so. that these orders, nobody would bet an eye and like this is unusual. Shows just what kind of an what kind of an authority the Central Forty Six actually were. But also, also like, are you telling me that Central Forty Six has been dead before Ichigo became a Shinigami? No, 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 not before. no, no, no. It was during that. It was during that. Like when I when Ichigo gets kept uh, when Byakuya gets sent to Earth. Mm. F- that first time when he gets stabbed, when he stabs Ichigo, and like you're slow even when you're falling. From that okay. moment, Central Forty Six was dead. Still, from Ichigo training with Urahara, yes. to them coming yeah. to society, him yeah. fighting Hachi and yeah. all that. Central Forty Six was dead, and nobody noticed. Nobody, not even one person. Was, was okay. like, no, remember, Soul Society is this close group. No one goes there. They only issue out orders, and only captains can go there. So because um, upon no request. One was, yeah, and because no one was um, the reason uh, Hutsugaya went there, he forced his way in. Remember? Yeah, but still, are you telling me that nobody was was wondering why Central Forty Six is quiet about the Ryoka invading? No, remember also Aizen is doing things with his co. What? How do you say it, Tevelo? Kyoka Swegetsu. Oh, Kyoka Swegetsu. So he's also Remember, related. it was still functioning, uh, 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 this thing, extraordinary. It was still, fun- Eisen was still, so he, he was, they were still sending out orders and stuff. So to the outside, it still looked like it was functioning. The only thing is Eisen was the one in control. So if Eisen is busy doing something, um, then um, Tosin is there giving out the orders. Yeah. If Tosin is busy with something, then Jin is there giving something. If Jin mm-hmm. is busy, then Eisen is there. So there was always, it, it wasn't uh, non-functional. And then uh, people didn't notice. It was functioning. It was just that the people were dead and nobody knew because nobody's allowed to go there. Mm. Okay, that, that's understandable. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> back, then, back then when the plot made sense. Then if, but then but if you... But you didn't make sense before also. <laughs> Pardon? I'm saying like, look, Kubo to me, he's he's like I said, I said this before. He writes by the seat of his pants. He's like a Kira Toriyama. 
Akira will forget, actively forget people's abilities. Like, for example, <laughs> right? When Piccolo went to go save Gohan. He forgot that he could stretch his arms. Or, or turn into a giant. But, yeah, that's no, a story. The stretching arm ability, he could have just stretched his arms and saved Gohan and pulled Gohan out of the blast and he didn't have to die to Nappa. Yeah. Yeah? There are so many other abilities. You, you'd be surprised. Shame. Ooh. I mean, Trunks also forgot how to one-shot opponents when he was trying to kill Cell. Because he spent so much time punching Cell. Like, <laughs> just I, like, I, like, like, <laughs> I, I, I think I mentioned it before that if Trunks can't kill you in one episode, he will never kill you. Just yeah, survive. Yeah, yeah. The t- <laughs> just, just if he Facts, just, actually. But if I think he survive, if he survive to the end, when you hear the announcement of the episode start speaking, you just know you got you made it. It's like shit. <laughs> Woo! You I made it, Trunks. <laughs> I think we mentioned before that the the, the Saiyans seem to get dumber when they get stronger for some weird reason. <laughs> it's like they stop thinking. No, Trunks was, Trunks was trying. I just don't know why the, the, the he was fighting the plot, my guy. When he was no, punching no, no, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Trunks, <laughs> Trunks, Trunks was, was, was that, punching the plot. Uh, Trunks was that was that guy from the gag. He was like, I'm here to kill you. I don't have time for to savor the battle, to look you in your eyes when you're scared. No, I'm gonna chop you to bits and pieces. It's my job. Yeah. And then come <laughs> come the plot. <laughs> His future saga, it was the quickest episodes. In th- in two episodes, he killed the androids and he killed Cell. In one? <laughs> what are you like, talking about two? It was one oh, episode. I feel like you oh, guys yeah. have never asked the golden question. The ultimate question is, why didn't Goku just in tra- instant transmission any of these villains to another planet, like to a vacant planet, and fight there instead of destroying Earth? Because it's Goku. It no, but also when you instant transmission, you need an energy signature. He needs to sense an energy to go there. Oh yeah, that's why you took him to it's King okay. Kai. If it's a planet, then he can't take them there. Okay, so where did he go again when Boo was destroying the planet? Um, what's this? He sends King Kai, so he went to King Kai. Yeah, no, no, that was Cell. Uh, I'm talking about Boo. No, not King Kai. Supreme Kai. Sorry, yeah. it was the Supreme Kai. Oh, he was not introduced as yet at that time. All right. Okay, fair enough. Like, you know, um, Supreme Kai was there, but there was also old Supreme Kai, and then there was the Fusion Kai with the... Kibito the, Kai. Kibito Kai. So Kibito Kai was on the other planet where they transmissioned to. Why am I... Why am I parroting all these names like an encyclopedia? This is my my episode of... I'm supposed to be the dumb one today. Yeah, but this is Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, this, is a, this is a, another and tangent. Just, uh, so anyway, getting back to Kubo, I'm saying Kubo, if it's not on screen, it's don't think it. about it. Yeah. <laughs> kind of reminds so, me of someone, but I'm not going to say it. I, I got an assistant desist letter yeah, from a certain Don't worry, producer. I already, already, already <laughs> had my thought in my mind before. I don't, I don't want to even voice it out, but I think the viewers already know what we're talking the same. about. I don't understand why you guys are saying this. It's not the same. Okay, I'll, by I the can... way, Bad Boys 4 is coming out. I don't know if he's going to direct it, but we'll see. Find out. Oh, I will like... not watch it. Listen here. I don't care who's watching this thing right now. Whoever watches this, mark my words. I, Demelo, son of Daniel, prince of the house of Hala, will not watch Bad Boys 4. I have too much value of my life. Thank you. <laughs> never, never. Not today. Not today, Satan. No. Wow. Bad Boys, bad boys. Or what you're gonna do, or what you're gonna do when they come for you, bad boys, bad boys. And, and this this <laughs> comes from a this comes from a devout bad boys one fan. I mean, I used to look, I used to, I was the one who spent all day and night looking up that one song from Bad Boys One, Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. I'm like, what's the name of that song? Where's that song from? The day I found that Eesh. song, I was overjoyed but just because bad boys, of that movie. I've seen bad Boys Three. Shy but I'm saying, if you want to talk about it, like, if you if you want to... Like, the thing is with Kubo, right? If it's on screen, he does care about it. Yes. Michael Bay, it doesn't yeah. even matter if it's on screen. I can honestly tell you, he forgets about things as they're happening in the scene. Okay, who's worse, though? Michael Bay or Zack Snyder? Michael Bay. Wow. Okay. Mm. I like Zack Snyder. Okay. He, Zack Snyder. <laughs> 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 
Zack Snyder, I can see what's yeah, happening. I, I, Mike I, I, Bay, especially with those Transformer movies, bro, it looks like two junkyards fighting each other. I bet you now, if I asked you to name who gets killed in Transformers Three, you can't even think of any Autobot by name at all. Because oh, none Hyde, of Iron Hyde dies in uh, uh, in the third one. And, and that was the story that broke the camel's back. In fact, it didn't. Yeah, but I'm saying hey, Iron Hyde, but you only remember him because he has a scene. Can you remember anyone else? The the what's this guy? The, is it the Sentinel? The 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 leader of the Autobots? He does. Oh yeah, Sentinel. Oh god. Hey, Optimus Prime. No, Prime doesn't die. He doesn't. The no, same. no, it's the guy who betrayed them. He was supposed to be a good guy, and then it turns out he was, he became a bad guy, and then. Yeah, the, or, the the original leader of the Autobots. But like, that movie yeah, was that movie like, was terrible. Can't remember his name. Yeah, he he know. just called him Sentinel Prime. Is is it Sentinel Prime? Yeah. But the red fire truck? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I barely remember that scene. <laughs> Dude, oh, I'm okay, but I do get what you're saying, though. I do get your point. But, but I have got to give it to you. No, no. Uh, Michael Bay is worse. Uh, no offense. I know Pila somewhere out there is going to get us. He, he's almost going to have his competitions as we speak. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Like that. <laughs> no way. What? You like yo guys? I'm drawing blanks. Think... I'm I'm literally trying to have uh, transformer memories. Literally, the only thing I remember is uh, when in, I think it's in two when Optimus Prime is um um what's his the Wiki Boy, and then he and then he pulls out the sword. Is like, come on, I'll take you all on. That's literally the only thing I remember from. Prime. I just all I know about Optimus Prime is that that guy is the most violent quote unquote good guy I've ever seen. The way he pulled off a man's face. Ah, Optimus Agasad. Yeah, when I Optimus, know. Optimus, oh, when he says, when, when Optimus get, says business, for, uh, he gets busy. Get, get a great test for the room. Debelo, Mr. Extraordinary, you can name the Gote 13, right? Yes, I can. You can also name some of Ichigo's friends, correct? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> I can name one. Uh, no, we're not talking I about the main lie. friends. We're talking about the other supporting friends. I can yes, only name one. Friends. You can name one at least, right? Mm-hmm. I can't. Cause... Oh man, mm-hmm. that girl, that that the tomboy girl. Come on, you know I yeah. love. Her. I have to know her. Yeah. yeah. No, I know the face. I don't remember the name. Okay. I, I all I'm thinking about is the lesbian girl who wants to who wants to jump on you know, his boobs. <laughs> That's the one. The no, I'm not talking about the one with the glasses. The one who could have actually. Oh, did. the perfect she one. Did she did no, karate. The, the one who beat Ichigo in martial arts. Yeah, that one. Okay. Anyway, here's my here's what I'm saying. So you can name all of those characters, right? You can even remember some villains. I even remember Ginjo, as for as, as non as non eventful as he was, right? And I can, I can, I can remember d- uh, dirty boots or whatever. Name me five Decepticons and five Transformers. I Just can. Five. That's a problem. I can. That's my problem. But even okay. again, remember he knows name. But... That's two, right? I just know Bumblebee. Are we, are we including or excluding Optimus? That's the problem. No. Okay. No Optimus. Send Wait, Optimus. This is the movie, not the cartoons, right? Yeah, movie. And you guys said Starscream is a Decepticon, right? Yeah, so. Starscream is a Decepticon. That's yeah, right. he's a yeah, Decepticon. He is. I think the problem yeah. is we, we know Starscream, uh, Ironhide, uh, Bumblebee. That's it. Hey, yeah, and Optimus. I'm, I'm saying, that's all I can remember. I'm saying five from each side. Can you even? But I'm I'm two one. I'm two one. Uh, no, the I'm other side. Autobots. I've never really known a lot of Decepticons except for Starscream and and Megatron. Um, Megatron blackout. Uh... That's yeah. three. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've put, now that I've been put on the spot, I, 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 do you know why I remember these people, these names? It's because there's a particular scene in the first movie, because the the, the little annoying uh, cell phone Decepticon found the Ospark and then it turned into a big machine. It's like. Ospark has been found, and then you just hear, this is Starscream. All Decepticons Disgust- all mobilized, mobilized, and then you just see the names <laughs> roll out, inbound. <laughs> I just don't remember. <laughs> the thing is, if we were talking about, like, at least Ahmad, I would have t- told you about, like, Red Alert, I would have told oh, you about Hotshot. Trans- 
Transformers in the movie. Can you name those Transformers? Nah, bro. I'm too I know there's someone who dies in the first one who gets ripped apart, like in two. Who's that guy? Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ratchet is one of the Autobots. There you go. Is it Ratchet? And then his name is Ratchet. Ratchet. No, no, that's I not Ratchet. Ratchet is the, the, was the was the one who who smelled the pheromones of of Sam Witwicky. How do I remember? How, why do I remember the most disgusting things about that movie? I'm talking about the one who gets split in half. Who's that guy? Uh, uh, you. Yeah, something with Z, Taz, Jazz, or something. Case and point. Kubo can't be Michael Bay because we remember the characters. Do you want me to? Do you want me to give you, you a counter you argument? You cannot compare. You cannot compare like six hours of film with three hundred and something. <laughs> no, I want. I, I want to give like I mentioned earlier. Now. Like I mentioned earlier, we can't. Kubo cannot be a carbon copy of Michael Bay. It's impossible. But of all the manga cars out there, he's the most like him. And that's what I've been arguing. Always. Out of all of them? Oh. Which I'm one? Out of the big three, maybe. But out of all of them, fair day, Lichiv. No, as much as fairy tale has not, does not, as much as fairy tale becomes repetitive, the fact remains you remember the purpose of the fight, the action sequence, and the payoff. <laughs> Do you? I just remember Natsu jumping into the air, fire fist, and the whole background. <laughs> it's and it's like the animators just said, you remember that scene that we animated in episode one? Yeah, like, that's, 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 bring that file, bring that file, send me that file. <laughs> copy and paste, copy, copy and paste, paste that file. Please, bro. Hey, Dog, dude, season one, one that's piece. all I remember from season one is Natsu jumping in the air, background fire. That's it. That's it, dog. And then let's just make sure that the rest of the budget goes to Ezra and we'll just make sure that she transforms into in every episode. And you know, it's it's I it's I can be for all guys out there. <laughs> <laughs> character and she just disappears <sighs> maybe I'm um, the main character is not the main character here. Now I have to watch Natsu. Give me Ezra. Give me Urza. Sorry, not Ezra. Give me uh, Urza. Yeah, Urza. is the main character. That never was. Let me Urza for a season. Let me watch Urza for three seasons because I'm bored with Natsu. With Natsu That's and what Lucy I'm, and Happy. And, no. That's what I'm, like, even Unohana is memorable, my guy. Like, Unohana, he doesn't do much in the original series pre-Blood War arcs, but you remember that character. Hello, she literally just the... she literally just smiles and everybody's afraid of her. That's all you remember about her. That's and that's what I want to. The the thing that grinds my gears with Tito Kuba that makes me think of uh, of Michael Bay is that he, all his five sequences are all about the cool factor. But they're actually cool. Like there's a difference. As opposed to what? How many ex- how many explosions what, what, do we witness? What, outside outside of outside of that fight in Transformers Two, right? Outside of yeah. that fight in Transformers Two, where Optimus is fighting in the in the desert or whatever, yeah. what fight in the is forest. in the forest? What yeah. fight is actually memorable? That doesn't look like two junkyards punching each other. Come on, I'll take you all on. Optimus versus Megatron at the, really? end, at the end after he after Megatron kills the Sentinel and then Megatron is like you see Optimus I'm stronger than you Optimus is like okay let's see then and then he pulls his face off with hey, well, but, no, guys Optimus stands on prisoners front like you understand <laughs> right, no that's just is oh. Optimus is like the that cool of a fight like if I look at it okay if I asked you put a gun to your head which fight would you rather watch would you rather watch uh, Zaraki Kenpachi versus Ichigo or Optimus versus Megatron from the movie yeah no Zaraki any day yeah no definitely Zaraki versus Ichigo yeah. yeah why because he's a memorable character uh, but I'm not I'm not I've never really like denied what you said I don't understand why you're so defending yourself so <laughs> No, no, he's he, 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 he's getting his point across. He's getting his point across. He's arguing it to me, and the 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 fact remains is of okay. I'll I'll renege. Um, Natsu is more Michael B than 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 Kubo. I'll agree with that. But, yes, thank you. Because fairy tale, wow. Okay. But <laughs> of the big three, the man who doesn't, the man who gave little ifs and buts about his own story was Kubo. 
No, I'm not saying Kubo doesn't run out of steam. I'm just saying when the steam is there, something is happening. But once it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, and we could say the same thing about Buckle Bay. I mean, he did, he did I, make Bad Boys I, 1. I don't think so because he did not care about the Transformers. No, but I mean, he, he also did Pearl Harbor. I think we, he, we forget that he directed Pearl Harbor. Ah, you but even for a good, good, good reason. We, we don't talk about we don't talk about Pearl Harbor. All all I wanted to know is that that movie made that movie. I watched that movie when I was in grade eight. It served as my awakening. I just saw like, huh? <laughs> ben Affleck's kind of cute though. Why the hell are you cheating on him with that? Girl, how no, dare you? Even was saying in Pearl Harbor, there's too many explosions. Like they made it so it's dramatic. Pearl Harbor. What do you mean? <laughs> like, like they were saying, Pearl like, Harbor. but they were saying, dog, and then they were also saying, like, they were trying to make the Americans the only heroes of World War Two. When it was like, chief, you guys joined late. Really, really. <laughs> American <laughs> propaganda. The the whole Pearl Harbor movie was American propaganda, and if they, if we really wanted to be more accurate, the okay, well that whole movie wasn't law accurate, we, the, from beginning that's to what, end. That's the thing what they were saying. That's what they, were saying. they were like Michael Bay just made his own version of World War Two. He didn't care about what actually happened. <laughs> but it but it, it did come with fantastic reviews. I know. It has some cool shots though. I'm not gonna front on that. Uh, it has some very cool shots in there. Mixed. People said it was mixed. And I mean, we get to Bad Boys. Like, Bad Boys 2, towards the end, oh, it just goes crazy. Like, you don't know where everybody, you don't know where anyone is. Things are exploding. They're driving cars down buildings. No, no, for me, the whole Bad Boys is just a jumbled up mess, though. Dude, uh, 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 Michael Bay, if there's no explosion, he doesn't know what to do with himself. Yeah. He has to have explosions. People have explosions for no reason. Six Dude, the, the, the hammer's just passing a shack and the shack explodes. They're like, wait, what? What the hell? <laughs> like, also, what was that movie he did with Ryan Reynolds? There was that movie, Six Underground or something. And apparently somebody got punched by a rocket in that movie. Like, wait, the rocket... What? Like the rocket fires into a car and it like punches a guy and then it explodes after it punched the guy or something like that. What? Like, why does that? Why would that? that why don't I remember that? Why would that surprise anyone? He, there was a literally a Transformers movie where a car where, where somebody got punched with a car. Yeah. Like I'm saying, like the thing is, Michael Bay's not even consistent with the world he creates. Things just change on the fly. Kubo and, and these Shinagamis are fighting each other. Oh, it's sword please. sword. And then, we, and then we have Ichigo, who's who's everybody's favorite half breed. Uh, who, by this, by the end of this thing, is going to be half Saiyan. Jiggy Jiggy is a full brain. <laughs> I'm saying though, yeah. when he introduced when he introduced full brain. No, no, but the oh, full brain one makes sense, remember? Because it's always it's about uh, like I said, it's people with uh, Riatsu and whoever a special item and who have been touched by a hollow. And then then it, could, it could have been anybody in Bleach, dog. Who has been no, no, no. But remember, they needed to have a, a high Riyatsu. That's what... It jumped Chad the shot. has a high Riyatsu and he was bitten by a hollow. No, so he, it could have been Chad. So the, Chad could have... The so friend Chad that was talking brain. about, the martial arts chick, she could have easily she, been... She, she could have... She, she, she could, got a, she could have gotten a, a full brain. That's why he was hanging out with Ginjo. Chad is a full bringer. His attachment is to his fists. That's why he got El Diablo and El What What and all of El that Directo. stuff. Yeah, but the martial the martial arts chick. She should have gotten a full bringer. Yeah, yeah but you, Google She's didn't got have, enough, uh, by that definition. Yeah, and she then Noah as well. She was also well, a yeah. didn't remember. Her, so of course she could, uh, she could sense them. She couldn't see them, but she could say. Them, so she, she should could have see them one. eventually. Uh, uh, during the full brain, she could see them. Yeah, if, yeah. chasing away this old man at school, like. And bo- both sisters, the Kurosaki t- uh, girls. Anyway, we'll go on and on. Yeah. I, I, all I, all saying, I wanted to say, yes. Yeah, but those doesn't make sense because I mean. My point yeah. is with Kubo. At least I remember the characters. At least yeah. I remember their names. I remember some of their motivations. You know what I'm saying? And I remember fight scenes. With Michael Bay, I promise you, if you put a gun to my head, I can't name five Transformers. True. I can't name five Decepticons even. There's one Decepticon who got killed, and I'm like, is that Starscream? 
Is that Megatron? When did... And then also, like, at least Kubo is consistent with damage. When somebody gets stabbed, they are stabbed. In the Transformers movies, like, when Optimus Prime becomes a truck, he's shiny. Then when he transforms into Optimus, he's all battle-worn again. And I'm like, but where did the scars just go into your... Into your where did they go? <laughs> Look, that... You see that... You see the lack of uh, the lack of uh, the lack of care that you are complaining about with regards to this. That's, that's how amazing. I felt. That's what I felt, especially in the coming arc when it comes to Bleach. You see all that. Keep I'm it saying before we get there, at least there was something before we get there. I see and, what you're and, saying. And, about and just just the same way that Michael Bay was a ter- look was he was never a talented producer and director, but he made things that people liked at the get go, and then things kept going, and he, everybody no, realized this man's crazy. Transformers two, Transformers two was terrible. <laughs> Trans- so was Transformers one, guys. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, but so, I'm but- Trans- one was more competent than Transformers 2. Transformers 2 he didn't care at all. No, Megatron, at least he's a featuring villain throughout the movie. Transformers 2, that villain with the crab face, where did he come from? No, but I think I think Transformers 1 was carried by Megatron. He's the one that made that movie. Like, let's shout be honest. Out. There's shout Megatron. In Transformers and, and, 2. And shout out to Hugo Weaving for voicing Megatron because he's the only thing that saved it. It's the only thing no. that's, it, it didn't even come back, I think, for like also for, having also having the OG Optimus voice in um uh, on, Peter uh, Cullen. Why, yeah in Peter Cullen. Wait, wait, what is his name again? Peter Cullen. Yeah, there we go. Having the OG Optimus and Peter Cullen also carry that movie. But I'm saying we get to Transformers 2. The only thing you remember about the villain is give me your face. That's it. I actually what don't even he... remember the villain. And that and that but yeah, literally that like a helicopter a or that aeroplane. I don't know if it was an aeroplane or a helicopter or oh, an oh, aeroplane the Decepticon. It was a jet. jet. It was oh, a jet. there you go. My God, now the what names are coming. Now the names by. are coming. Now that I've come come count down, the name the all these names are coming in. The only reason I remember Jetfire is because I used to watch the eighties cartoon and he was one of my favorites because he could turn into a jet. Is it the one that gave uh, Optimus a Zenkai boost? This, <laughs> these characters, these Decepticons have got the dumbest names. Because we've got the Fallen, Everybody, we've got eh? we've got Shockwave, we've got Soundwave, we've got Starscream, we've got Shockwave. <laughs> but Starscream is not bad, though. Is it bad? Uh, no. For a kids' show? No, it's fine. No, but all I'm saying is like. Yeah, I'm saying I remember. I can remember Soy Four. I can even remember some of the vice captains as well. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can. Remember but do you tell me that you were you remembering all these names during the Soul Society act the first time you saw it? Oh my God, guys! There's a new Transformers coming. It will watch itself. <laughs> do you think, guys? If I'm not going to watch Bad Boys, Bad Boys Soul, what's gonna possess me to watch Transformers? What's I will called, have to be under. I'll have to be under the strongest Genjutsu, Obito, and Madara, and Itachi combined will have to put me in for me to go into that movie. There'll be some like this. Kerms Hemsworth is in it. So, so what? He, I, you can tell me he's got a new scene in that movie and I'm still not going to watch it. Who's going to watch that? <laughs> look, anyway. if, look, if I tell me that Henry Cavill and Chris Hemsworth and Mike, uh, Chris Evans are going to have a three-way in that movie, Okay, maybe. Okay, no, no, I think you were watching. <laughs> I was about to say, like, you definitely <laughs> watch that. <laughs> I was about but, to say, oh, that's I, the only condition. <laughs> I was about to call Cap. I was about to call Cap. I was about to call plot. But I'm saying, anyway, the thing is, right, we cannot deny that Tite Kubo's characters are memorable. That's all I'm saying. And that's what has to put him above Michael Bay. Because that voice is carried by Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. If they put any two other actors in there that we didn't know, would that movie be anything? Yeah. No. Pella, we don't even call, we don't even say Mike Lowry. We literally say Will Smith. What was what was Martin Lawrence's character's wait, name wait, in that wait, movie? Wait, wait, wait! Not with Mike Lowry though. With Mike Lowry, we no, no, say no, no. Mike Lowry. You on the mic with Mike? It's my love. But what's the other character's name? That's it's Marcus Brunette. 
Yeah, but I'm saying that line was just because it was Martin Lawrence pretending to be Martin Lawrence's character My pretending bad. to be like. Just like how Eisen, Martin. like we we knew about Eisen because he we thought he was dead. Like we started being interested in this guy because there was a huge subplot okay, about him. We are him. going to argue until the cows come home. And because funny enough, we don't disagree with Bugmeister. I don't know why you keep on... Cut, uh, no, no, he's trying to convert me and he does not <laughs> yeah. understand how stubborn I am. With me. <laughs> Pardon? And that's what I'm saying. But anyway, okay, you can uh, you can sit there on your Tite Kubo, um, yeah. Michael Bay. I will okay. sit here on okay, my... T- I will sit here on my Tite, Tite Kubo drum Hill. I don't anyway. even remember... Where George Lucas! From. Oh, that's heresy right there. No, where were we? Just, I don't know, can it just true because if, if if it's not in the scene, it doesn't matter. Yep. Hmm. You may have a Okay, let's there. just give a summary of what happens in this thing because obviously okay. we're not really interested in it and we Wow <laughs> No, like Arabuene like this tangent is longer than uh, our, our opening sequence is longer than what we've talked about full bring. Try to stretch it, but like as I said, I said my one thing about the full bring, but outside of that, like okay, there's a there's some dope scenes in this. I, I wanna give big shout out. I wanna give big shout out to Zaraki one shotting the, the butler guy whose whole That was whole hilarious. Time. That was hilarious because he was talking what was about her. again, he can use time or what? So basically it's like he he controls time in a sense that he can make something like grow faster or whatever the case is based on upon a condition so or something deteriorate. he can do yeah, what he can make something he can make something grow or he can make something deteriorate. deteriorate based on time thank you hey the english is not english but doesn't that sound like baragan He's... no but baragan specifically he aged things this guy can he can make something young and fresh or he can make it old so he can go forward baragan can only go I'm saying he can go backwards. Paragon can only go forwards. Sounds like somebody had run out of ideas, but we're not going to mention it. Mm. Like it. But okay, I hear but you. then again, uh, memory manipulation sword. Hmm. Kind of sounds familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, but I'm saying yeah. he has to cut and he's in your memory. He's not warping your but whole it's, reality. It's like, I for, get... for me. No, I but it's still, it's, it's like still a form of reality warp. I think I've only watched like the first episode of, of Full Brain. For me, I don't want to lie, you guys might even laugh. The only interesting character for me was Ichigo's boss, though. Like, that's the only thing that I like. I, I wonder watch. why. Oh, Valley of the Gods. <laughs> no, not even, not, no, not even that, though. Like, she, were they, I just, were I, they I just like the character design. I like the, mm-hmm. I like the fact that Ichigo has a job, you know what I mean? Obviously, kind of felt like Spider-Man 2 vibes, but still, I felt like yeah, dude, like, you, have, you should have a life out of just, like, going to, like, save your friends from whoever's kidnapping them this week. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, Ichigo having a job was interesting because unlike other shonen protagonists, once he achieved what he needed to achieve, he was cool. And, but yeah. shonen logic, something needs to happen. Jiggy yeah. jiggy, something happens. Like Goku walking on a farm, like, do you really need the job? I don't think so. Chichi, hey. that's the only reason he had a job. How is he going yeah. to say no to Chichi? Yeah. Chichi was like as a family, and then puts them all in danger to fight in a tournament. But yeah, anyway. But um, Chichi, you're a princess. We have money. Why do I have to get a job? Like I am not marrying no bum ass nigga who ain't got a job. You better get out there and provide for your family, Goku. You've been dying and neglecting your family for too long. You gotta get out there. <laughs> Work. Yeah, okay. I am not a yeah, bum-ass bitch. You're not you <laughs> That's basically punishment for all the time he has been going. Uh, he was leaving her to to feed the family and stuff. Like you they have been some... living his best life. That's what I said. She, she just cosplaying to be poor. Like living his bread. best life, dying to villains and trying to protect the planet that Chichi lives on, so that she can shop and whatever. Yeah, sounds good. That, that's what. You know, <laughs> To the every time I watch that house that Goku has in this little cute little dome, and I'm thinking it's just Chi Chi cosplaying, being a little dainty wife. Because 
what kills me is that you see scenes where he shows that the woman is loaded because when she goes shopping for 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 the when she went shopping during the android arc did you see how many clothes she bought the, that cut doesn't decline that's all i can say <laughs> go on his and always had tutors go on always had tutors in the house he never went to school every teacher they had they came to the house you know how expensive and remember go on is a saiyan so he eats uh, both uh, saiyans his, his dad is, is the same. He eats. No, Pel- Goten is the same. So that's a lot of food. Ox King. Ox Pel- King Pel- himself is a, is a huge... I'm saying, Pel- 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 the thing of when they always break the plates in the house and all of that stuff and she replaces them the next arc and it's back to normal. Yeah. Anyway... Back to back to yeah, we really don't care about the full bring it in. The moment, like like I told you, okay. So my boy in summary, like in summary, Ichigo lost his powers. This guy called Genjo comes through and he tells him, "Hey man, I have a way for you." Ichigo's working, you know, he's living his non-powered life, and then uh, Genjo comes through. He's like, "Yo, bro, I got a way to get your powers." back man um, so you want to come through ichigo ichigo goes like nah man I'm, i'm not about that and then something happens uh, then it's like okay i need my power so i can protect people not not to feed my ego and then uh, he he goes up to genjo and then um all the different full bringers get introduced uh, the dude with the lucky dice the dirty boots the time guy and he trains and trains and uh, on how to bring get his super your light you have to remember the game guy i was about yeah, to oh the game guy yeah he took he took a uh, into the he took a long lost long lost twin brother but also wait and, like what was urahara in all of this was it just chilling nje just chilling as usual no urahara was 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 was, was in the workshop uh, putting in work but you'll see it kopel urahara was at the workshop putting in work So um he, he trains he trains he finally um gets his full bring and then Genjo is like ha ah, you got your full bring now my 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 real plan is coming into light ha ah, 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 ah. and then check, he's the no, bad guy that and then that, it turns at, out he's the bad thing at that point Genjo was still he had his memory altered by Tsukushima yes Yo. oh remember that Yo. anyway um Yeah so he, Ginjo for all intents and purposes he brainwashed himself to be like a good guy which is why I'm like Tite like this is why you should not have just make Ginjo a guy trying to help Ichigo and guys on Ichigo's watch Don't yeah well or where he's going to mm-hmm. cuz everybody was like dog we saw this coming like when I turned the next page and I was like Ginjo is the bad guy I was like ah man but <laughs> what gave it my surprise was it the character design or was it just because of what we've Oh, it's the character design. Gendro is always shady. He's always chilling in the corner. He's always watching each slick go. Slick hair, slick back, and you know the Even whole shebang. Gendro is father trying to figure out what's going on with him, and it's just like you're doing all these bad guy behaviors, my guy. Just don't, don't like. I was crossing my fingers when I was reading this. I was like, don't be a bad guy, and then jiggy jiggy, right? Surprise! This is this is like in Bakuman where. The two main characters get a different editor and you can tell that the story just No, but this feels like this feels like Tite Kubo did it because he was just tired and he wanted and they needed something so he just wanted to he just wrote something for the arc. And I was just like, yeah. "Chief, if you just change that one thing, at least you'd have something here." Like so this, this is like after the, this, this could at least after Hueco Mundo, but now it, it, it's generic because it's just like oh, we saw this guy coming. How did Ichigo not see him? Especially after Aizen. <laughs> this was basically yeah. after Madara gets killed in Naruto. Yeah. Oh. But okay. I'm saying the difference mm-hmm. is, is that at least after that we have no, well, one, we get to see Naruto and Sasuke use cool and interesting and unique powers and, you know, we get the moment of the reverse harem jutsu. So at least there's something going on hilarious. there. But now there's no Sasuke versus Naruto at the end of this. It just ends. <laughs> no. Well. And then, and then uh, we, we mustn't forget just how easily these other characters were like beaten to a pulp when the so when so society emerges and they give Ichigo his power back and it's like these guys weren't even contenders. It was so sad. It was just yeah. that mm-hmm. it, 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 
the only one who struggled was Rukia. And I was like, Tite, stop beating up Rukia. Come on. <laughs> Tite hates Oh, my Tite. God. I have never seen someone so powerful struggle. Her and Hutsugaya, uh, they're forever struggling in every fight. They, they, they never have an easy fight. All their fights are 10 no, episodes Hitsugaya. long, and they're always Hitsugaya. losing. One. He took guy got this one. He sorted this game guy out so so fast, and he's just like the only reason I can't kill you is because you've trapped everybody, and I need to know how to get out. Yeah, no, he took guy does have some W's. No, no, he no, 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 he's got he has, W's. He's, but usually the thing he is, he's like, he does have W's, but even his W's, he struggles, and he's not supposed to. Like this kid is yeah. powerful and is a genius. But like, in this it's, case, it's not a it case of. A... Like with Hutsuga, it's not a case of um, he's a genius and his power is going to be here, but it's still here. So, like, he's po- he's like powerful. He's captain level powerful and he's not even fully grown yet. Yeah, but he hasn't reached like, his full potential yet, though. Wasn't that but the thing is, he's, captain, he's already captain level. Yeah, he, but he is, he's already he captain is, level. But remember, there was, this, there, there was this, this conversation, I think it was, was it Shinsui having with Stark? Yeah, yes. And he said in about a hundred years uh, that uh, the Uzi would. But here's the thing: in a hundred years, that in society, that's like uh, that's, that's like, like two minutes. weeks. <clears throat> yeah. And understand. And the th- my point is this, uh, Mr. Extraordinary. He's already captain level with immature powers. No, I get you. I get you. So and if I- you are already that powerful, he's basically um, Kempachi with the patch on. That's what I'm trying to get at. He's like powerful, guys. No, we, yeah. I, I, I get that. It's just that in this particular arc, he does clap cheeks. Yeah, no, in this one, at least. You have you know. to say it that way, didn't you? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, wrong, wrong podcast. You know what? He <laughs> didn't <hold> himself. <laughs> but anyway, getting back to it, like, Chukushima versus Biakuya was kind of cool. I did like mm. that Chukushima changed. I, I liked it. Like he could change the landscape by just injecting memories into the landscape, so he could make the landscape remember that there's a column here. So now there's a column, or he can make the landscape remember that this part of the wall doesn't work. So now it falls apart. Oh, I yeah. thought that, was, like that, yeah. separated him from Eisen for me, where that his power could infect the environment's memory. So basically, the environment would remember things a certain way, and then it would change based on how the environment remembers it. Because that's how he was even mm-hmm. defeating um, what's this, Biakuya's um, Bankai. That he was basically making the Bankai misremember things. No, 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 no. It, no, it, no, no, he it, was, he, he figured out how it works. He remembered, he, he remembered how it works so he could counter it. No, you, you know what he did? <laughs> he, not only did he insert his memory into the memories into the environment, he also managed to cut one of the blades of Sembon Zakura. That's inserting himself into the memories of Sembon Zakura. And that's how he knew that there's a minimum distance that the blades ha- they cannot cannot breach because then he uh, uh, Biakya could cut, will cut himself. So who and will Biakya being the I don't I, w- I will win at all costs, homie that he is. Somebody should have those blades should have told him like bet I saw this man cut cut off cut the cut the tendons of his own arm and leg just to win a fight. <laughs> and oh. With no emotion, with no emotion on top no of it. No emotion, that. like like oh look. It was it, it wasn't even a dramatic thing. That's the crazy part of it. It wasn't like I will cut my hand. No, no, no. it was just like oh, <laughs> no emotion. <laughs> what was that again? <laughs> Dude, such a oh, savage man. Who won? So obviously, Mr. Nonchalant won. Yeah, I'm saying nonchalant. Man. Thank you, buddy. Hey, and he's he's yeah. chalete, and he's not he's very chalete. I'm saying, gents, when did he cut his tendon and thing again? I'm trying to when, remember. When he fought against when he was fighting. Yeah. The seventh espada. The seventh espada. The love espada. Oh. oh, right, right, right. When they put when he put the love eye wink thing on him yes. or whatever. Yes, I mean, yeah. bitch, not today. Without a flinch, without you ain't get this love. No, 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 nothing like that. It's like it's not the first. No time. drama, no theatrics, bro. It's like it's not the first it's time. Say what you about Tite. Biaku is a memorable character. Like I'm just saying, he went Sometimes, out of the character design and made a cool character. 
Sometimes I think Becky was his favorite character. The way he just gives him <laughs> that was <laughs> all gets, the time, though. And he make, he gives him the most OP badass lines and moves. I uh, mean, the, one of the most one of the most classical lines he says is like, you know, uh, you once you once said that your, the situation you find myself was pointless. Allow me to correct you. The f- situation you find yourself now in is pointless. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, my dude, guy. That's what like, I'm saying. This dude was so arrogant. You didn't even realize <laughs> he was arrogant. You just thought like. Hey man, it's a it's a fact. It's not arrogance. It's a fact. That's how ar- that's how his arrogance was just like his I, arrogance was not even. I think like him and him and Kim he kind of represent the Vegetas of this of yeah. the, of like yeah. of this series to me because the thing yeah. is they're like sides of the same coin. Like uh, Bia Kuya was arrogant about it, but he had elegance or whatever. He's a bit Piccolo-ish, was, Piccolo-ish, you know. Yeah, Zaraki what? was. B- was big. I, I was this. I'm going to f- flex in front of you, all of that stuff. I'm going to talk smack to you. Imi- like the way he beat Tosin's Bankai was so embarrassing. I felt so bad for Tosin. <laughs> there's, there's only one time you saw Bekia raise his voice. One time. <laughs> Zaraki. <laughs> no, not Zaraki. I mean, Bekia. Bekia raised his voice only one time in this entire Bleach You're story time. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's when oh, he was a kid. Yeah. I'm talking about adult, adult back here. When he was fighting okay. Zaraki. No, he didn't yell at Zaraki. When he fought Ichigo, that is the only time oh. when Ichigo managed to get behind him and try and stab him, and then he caught the blade with his hand. Like I see your 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 bankai amplifies your speed. Blah 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 blah. Like fine then. I'll bury your bunker with this with my blade. That's the only time he yells at he yells at anyone. After that, come again. Watch carefully. What, what, what kind of bipolar does this man have? <laughs> the, no, they, I mean the thing is though, I think he was just mad because he felt like, hey Kubo, you're cheating in this plot here. How is this guy getting faster and faster? <laughs> hey, man. I, I'm sorry, there. How is he beating how is he beating the fa- the fastest bankai there is right now? When he just learned his two hours ago. Yeah, anyway. Well, Ichigo becomes the fastest one, but I mean, his was still immature. It was still, it was literally a day old. It was an hour old, but, actually, not even like, a day. Uh, Byakuya was not even considering it to be the true Bankai. It's like, nah, that's not Bankai. And, and what gets me going about, all right, okay, I'm just, on a side note, rather, something got me, I just realized. What's up, um, what's, um, let me find the words. Somebody wants to post a very important question that how uh, many anime protagonists uh, can't lose their powers and have them uh, and have the story end from there, except for one, which would be uh, which one is that? The one with the alchemist. What's this called again? Uh, oh, full metal alchemist. Full metal. Full metal alchemist is the only one, and that one. Funny enough, the uh, manga is a female, so like women understand that you know when you've done the journey, it's over. You can let it go. Where men have got have got have placed so much of their identity in their powers, in their abilities that even in stories where it would make sense that this thing, this this part of the journey is over, um, they would find a way to retcon it to bring this person's powers back because they can't i they can't identify the person away from the abilities. Do, do you understand what I'm trying to communicate? Was, was, full, at, mm-hmm. metal alchemist, was it was it jump though? Was it shown and jump? No, I don't think it was under shown and jump. I don't no, think so. I don't think so. Okay. But also be- on top of that, like if this was the big three, there was no way that shown and jump was just gonna let the story no. end, Chief. That's why mm. Blood War- They were not gonna allow it. They were gonna say, listen, uh Hiraku Ara eh? Hiramu Arakawa, ne? I think that's her name. Hiramu mm. Arakawa, yeah. They're gonna be like my sister. Um, I think you need to tell your husband that you're coming in late because we need to. Yes, I tense. We are working. Yeah, it's interrupt time. on this thing. Yeah. So Ed has his Ed has his has his powers back now. He can start doing alchemy again. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, but the story is. But the story. Yeah, no, 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 no. That was a whole no, dream no, no. sequence where he lost his powers. Yes. 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 No, yes. No, he talked to God. Well, when he talked to God, so now he must just have God come down and bless him again, and now he can start doing yeah. the things like. 
No, father's not dead. What do you mean, father's dead? No, no, no. Father's not dead. <laughs> Man, uh, okay, okay. Let's finish. It, it's this, also let's finish. Let's finish the full thing. I was about to say there's another one that's also fun started by women and it's not it's not a jump anyway, but it's started by women and also the main character <laughs> the main character dies, it would be once again, ding my code guess. Ding <laughs> for code gears because after the story is over, what happened? It's like eh, but it's over. <laughs> Wasn't but isn't he, isn't he possibly alive? Oh yeah, that movie tanked horribly. People are like, no, no, not like, the movie. In the movie I'm talking about in the series when it ends. Spoilers! I'm about to start watching it. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to start watching it. Oh God! Oh, yeah. okay. so we're gonna review it. Okay, we're gonna review it together. I'm gonna, I'm gonna force you to watch it. We're gonna watch. Well, it. after this, after this, I, I will, I, okay, I'll fine, Debello, you've convinced me. I will watch uh, Lulush for the fifteenth time. Wait, <laughs> Is that what we're recording? Okay. Well, oh, wait, wait. Okay. Let's let's chop it up. Let's finish up and then. Devello T Hala commands all of you. Watch <laughs> yes again. Yes, my lord. <laughs> well, for the first time, my lord. Anyway, back to it. Um, what's this? So, like, everybody did have a cool-ish fight thing going on, except yeah. for Rukia. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they put Rukia with the bunny lady so and then too. had her turn into a bunny. No, but Rukia beats her as a bunny, which I guess okay. Fine. Um, it's a bunny. Yes. Yeah, mm. it's transformed into like she a. Can, she can take your soul and put it into an inanimate object. I think yeah. is that. Yeah, so basically. Rukia managed to kill someone while she was an inanimate object. Yeah, she used like yeah. keto or something, and she, she bodied used her. Keto. She, she, <laughs> she bodied her with keto. Ah, yes. Are you sure this is canon? Like. <laughs> <laughs> but I just love how. This whole episode, you, your your excitement and knowledge about the four bringing just kept on going, getting more and more into disappointment. And <laughs> this went on. It was like, you're going to talk about the four bringer, guys. This I, I haven't watched it. I just watched a review. Blah, blah, and then as things go on, I was like, really? Really? He's literally been sure? saying really the whole time. The whole he's been time. saying really like... He's been saying really like a um a two thousand high school uh, high high school girl. Really? 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 <laughs> Not another teen movie, really, really. Sex Jordan, dog. If you if you accepted the first arc, my guy, I feel like you're in it now. No, trust me. I'm, tra- I'm really trying to understand what's happening, not in a bad he, way. I'm really trying to get into it. But... Since the first, since no. the first, so chief. When we look back, when you look back, it's like dog. You dogged out Rukia from the beginning. The yeah. Fact that mm. you, uh, like Rukia's for. I don't know if you guys saw. Just you guys get, like everybody, it. dog. Did this guy see someone commented on the video about Rukia? No, which one? Mm-hmm. Just give me a second. Let me just find it quickly. Nah, man, poor Rukia, bro. Does she have a W? Like, she, 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 she also struck, she's, she's got struggle Ws. She's got struggle yeah. Ws. She doesn't she have also, a... She also beat the guy who looked like Kayan. Like, I, <laughs> I give her that win. Here's the... Because Here's the comment. Oh, she bit also that um not the Arankara. What's it called? The one oh, below yeah. the Arankara. Yeah, she beat the Arankara. The one who multiplied. Right? Here's the here's the, the comment. Multiplies. Um, that was a group W, but like the one on one, that first Aranka that came that tried to attack her when she when Ichigo was there, and then she oh, basically okay. soloed the guy with the with her sword style thing, the ice thing, quick quick. Okay, this is by TKO Hardly 14. Shout out to you, my guy. It says, loving this podcast. I want to say something about Rukia's... Pardon? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, you just disappeared now. Am I moving? No, you're not moving. You are frozen. You are frozen. Can you hear me, though? Okay. I can hear you You're moving now. now. Okay. Yeah, you're moving. You're moving. You're back. It says, loving this podcast. Want to say something about Rukia's loss against the first that first hello. She she didn't actually fight it. Before she could, Ichigo ran out at it with a freaking chair. <laughs> and uh, it nearly killed him. Except Rukia jumped in the way. Rukia didn't lose so much so huh? so much as she used her body to protect Ichigo. This is why yeah. Ichigo feels like he owes her so much and ties into his character arc of wanting to protect others instead of others sacrificing themselves to protect him. Like his mother did. 
I still I still can't but no because if Who's we look this at this person, I want to see the comment. <laughs> I'm saying if we, look at what is of, if we look at what Ooh. Ichigo is capable of after he unlocks her powers, there's just no way that she wouldn't be able to solo the hollow and save Ichigo. No, 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 but he's saying um whilst she never got to fight him because she but also it doesn't make sense because if she was strong enough to to solo it she could have uh, blocked the blow instead of getting her yeah. body in the way no, i'm saying she could have killed that thing before it even made a move on ichigo but it also goes back to this thing as well like why did she have to turn into a bobby to use kiddo why didn't she just use kiddo before she, she was into a, 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 she was she was still figuring out the power and she, every time she like cut and why? I'm saying one, she was figuring out the power, and two, she was trying to negotiate with this person to surrender. She was just like, why? "You're not going to win." Those two like, reasons for me, like, why, why for both? Why don't you just use Kido from the jump? And no, no but she thing... didn't know. She used the sword from the jump, and then it wasn't working. And then she was like, "Okay, the sword's not working." Okay, fair enough. Also, on top of that, she was just like, "You're not going to beat me. It doesn't matter what you do." Like, we are worlds apart here. So just surrender. You can go home. It's fine. Like, there's there's no way you're going to beat me here. And then la- that lady gets pissed and then turns her into a bunny. And then she So only two full bring die here? The time no, they and... die. She died. Like, Rukia didn't kill her. She just uh, the incapacitated her. Zaraki Sorry. was the only one. What, what I meant was, does Z- Zaraki... Her? Yeah, Zaraki killed that, killed that old dude. He don't play. You know Zaraki don't in, in about that life. But did Ginjo die? Is, but I'm saying it's also inconsistent because he was just like, he got so bored that he was like, I have to kill you. But like, he used to not kill people when they couldn't fight back. <laughs> and then I remember he, he, he fought him, he hit him once and then he was like, oh, wow, you're that weak? I, I wasn't even trying. And then he got bored. Oh, oh, yeah, he killed him by accident, basically. Yeah, he killed him by accident. <laughs> For the thousandth time, did Ginjo die? <laughs> Um, I don't, remember, I don't it, think so. No, yes, he does. He does. So it's two people that died then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gendra does die because um Ichigo hits him with the Getsuga Tensho. And we don't see him anymore. So um what's this? So Tsukushima is in charge now, basically. Of the full bringers, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean there's also that one with um there's also that fight with Ikaku where he fought the kid that Am was I lucky. Back? Yes, you are. Yeah, but... Where he fought the kid that was lucky. That was kind of, you know, a little bit of a fun because Ikaku was like, "Yeah, I'm the luckiest guy in the go. I'm the luckiest guy in the in the Serate or whatever. So if you want to test your luck or whatever, and then they start punching Let's each go. other. I just like that guy's way. a beast. Ikaku is a beast, dog. Like. The few parts that I actually enjoyed about the Forbringer was the note list, was the, the thought of having Hisage with Inso Society driving around with a bike because he knew that was a car, that was a bike engine on that woman's shoulders. <laughs> mm. Like, I had a bike once, but I was driving up until the. And he also solos dirty boots, but he doesn't kill her. Yeah, right. Orange, you know? I think I saw since yeah. that because he was just because I'm saying he was like I've been training to fight Aizen. <laughs> you are nowhere near. I don't care how dirty your boots get. Okay. I've got I've got the cloth to wipe them. Ish, but I'm just saying. Also, that woman was fine. If I was Renji, I would have been like, okay, I know you got these dirty boots, but maskulum, maskulum, maskulum. All right, guys. I don't know if there's any other closing remarks you guys have. Ah, well, like uh, I said, I guess it, it was a kind of a cold thing when um, you know, Gindra goes, "Oh, was that your Getsuga Tensho?" And then Ichigo goes, "Like, no, that was just a regular sword swing, where he opened the sky." And then he's like, "This is a Getsuga Tensho." Oh, okay. Mm, it was okay. Um, I wouldn't watch it again. Yeah, I mean, at the end, when he gets acknowledgement from the Soul Society and he wants to bury Gindro, again, would have worked better if Gindro was a good guy that got screwed over by Soul Society. And then, mm-hmm. he, and then you know, Ichigo says to honor the good guidance that Gindro had, I'm going to continue being a Soul Reaper. Much better, but anyway, outside well, of that, yes. Yeah. And much more powerful. Why did you want to bury Gindro then? 
after killing him. Because well, it's Ichigo. I, yeah, that's basically because, what One, because it's Ichigo. Two, because it's... Basically it's just, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Mr. Tevelo. I was saying one is because it's Ichigo. Two is basically he's the only other substitute in the game he's ever met. No, that's not true. Which one? Which other substitute in the game has he met before? You know that other guy, man, that comes in. That's not a substitute in the game. That's an actual in game. That's an actual in game. He's been sent on a mission. What's the mission? He's been dispatched protect, to the real world. Protect Kurakatang. Okay. All right. Like, I mean, I don't know why. Because <coughs> she was there. <laughs> no, but actually, okay. she was busy fighting Aizen and all those things. That's why they said, I, for the hello and stuff like that, we'll get someone else. Yeah, so. yeah, but I'm saying, at the end of it, like, they still send him back. And it's just like, my guy, you already got a captain level. A person who's past captain level in Kurokawa Town. Multiple like, ones. No, no. <laughs> Let's, let's not forget Urahara Kiske is there. That weird girl, that weird girl who punches hollows is there. The other dude, dude who punches a hollow dead? Like what the hell, girl? Uh, uh, you mean you mean uh, Renji's lost lo, lo, long lost son? I still I still think that's Renji's son, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's Renji's child, dog. That nigga. <laughs> baseball, baseball killing hollows. Like what? Yeah, uh, no, the, no, I, I think you have to move, eh? you I are... think you're going to have to move, eh? you, are, you are frozen in time. <laughs> Bankai. Yeah. Who is this? I'm going to get Do I need to... Do I need to... Be... Lo- I think Rukia's you know, Bankai has got, got, got me. No, he took guy. Rukia's got oh, you. Oh, Tsukishima's got you, dog. <laughs> he on Maru. <laughs> Aizen Sama, let me go. Okay, guys, I don't know if there's anything else you guys want to say, but I think we can close it off. Uh, is there anything yeah, else? Am I back? Yeah, yeah, I oh, yeah. That... remember you were asking um, where was Uruhara in this whole time? He was the one who made the sword that gave Ichigo his powers back. His powers back. Yeah, yeah. Where, they put, where they put the Reatsu of all the captains. So basically, yeah. this is just like a rehashing of certain things that we were already exposed to. I mean... Didn't Urahara already do this in Aizen where he comes last minute and helps and helps capture Aizen? Well, he doesn't give Ichigo his powers back. He tells Ichigo that he can't be a Shinigami anymore. But then everybody in Soul Society was like, well, this guy helped us out. Let's give him his powers back. Kind of thing. And he oh, figures something I out. Want... We'll bring a Ichigo, though. I love that design. I thought that design yeah. was fire. I, I thought was that, trying to that imagine. theme song. That theme song that plays when he has the full bringer thing. I've been telling you guys about it. Because what they did is, like, they did, like, a rock thing. And then they remixed Ichigo's regular theme of that whole, do you want some action, what, what. But they took out the words, and they just let it be instrumental. Mm-hmm. 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 The, only, the, only thing that, the only thing that made it better, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, listen to it. It like, starts like, boom, boom, da, 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 da. Dun, dun, dun. And then after that, then it goes into the if you want some action without the words. And I'm just like, this should have been his theme. I'm telling you, if he was going to go slice um, was Eisen and this theme was playing, the one that plays in full bring, and Eisen stopped it. Ah, uh, Eisen would have been top tier bad guy for me, dog. I would have hated him because I was like, yo, this theme is fire. Now he stops the theme. By stopping the sword. But then I was like, I Aizen is my hero in this moment. Because I don't want to hear yeah, these I... women. <laughs> it was all part of Aizen's plan. One. You know those women, I'm sure where they are, they, they, they paid off their mortgages, their kids are in college because one, of these uh, they, residuals. They, they, yeah, but they're going <laughs> on holidays every, every two months. <laughs> Dubai. They're in Dubai for the holidays. Yeah, I have me. My head cannon is, my head cannon is, is that it's the same ladies from Hercules. I Who think was so the, too, dog. Like, it's oh so my nice. soul, those ladies oh, from nice. Hercules. It's, it's the same ladies from Hercules, it's the same ladies from uh, me and Genesis Evangelion. The same <laughs> the same. You remember Chef, the, the, the movie? It's the same, dog. The same group. They, they've been <laughs> making bank. He's a bad mother. Shut your mouth. <laughs> they've, been making, they've been making bank. Anyway, my final How is the movie so average but it's so cool because the actor was just swagging out sam jackson was swagging out in shelf bro anyway oh yeah my final thoughts um 
the full bringer arc was beyond below mid for me. I didn't really give a damn. At this point, I was like still suffering from post Eisen in post Eisen that clarity. <laughs> what? Batum. You had Eisen itis. Oh, okay. We could say that because what I said something else for violently different, but anyway. Yeah, we heard it. <laughs> we heard it. <laughs> like, we heard it. I tried to I say this. I'm innocent. Trust. This is the I guy who claims is innocent, by the way. Hey, Bachmeister. Yeah, yeah. Ne? Mm. I, I, I said I have. Bush, I, I, the flesh. I've achieved enlightenment. Big difference. <laughs> oh, so okay. the enlightenment. Messy. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're we not in life in Corona. You're sharing your thoughts, right? Oh yeah, you yeah, did share. I was, your thoughts. I was busy sharing my thoughts, but it's like just like season six of Supernatural, it's something that should never have happened, but it happened, and some people find if some people because of nostalgia and loyalty stuck to it, and that's why we got introduced to the tragedy that came after this arc. So, yeah. So it's mostly your fault, fans. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for just wow. if you guys know totally not Mark, he says that's his best arc, by the way. So so once again, it's all your fault. That's his huh? best arc. Because because the executives were too greedy and couldn't let go of this uh, this cash cow. They decided to they decided to force Kubo to make it to death. It's all your fault, you American pigs. Wow. Anyway, wow. <laughs> okay, that that's, that's the, the, the comments expressed right now uh, do not even resemble the channel. They belong to a certain man called Tibalokhan, all right? Come <laughs> at me. Come at me on the comments. Comment <laughs> below. I, will, I am ready. I have I have my swords ready. I will bank high right then, then it's okay. the koi teme. What is it tells? Yes. Okay, guys, I think that's. The, as much as we can say about this arc, um, uh, I, then, uh, uh, I believe we're going to be doing uh, Naruto next. Yeah, sorry, I'm saying, uh, Zuko, did you give your final thoughts? Yes, I did. No. Uh, I watched it. It's not worth a rewatch. It is All what right, it is. Then. It had some cool moments, but on on the whole, it was unnecessary. They could have literally just made... Uh, they could have just made a, 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 a final episode where he loses his power and then the next episode Urara comes and he and he and he plunges the sword. It's like uh so society decided to give you your powers back. There was no need for all this. Wow. Actually, yeah. Uh well my uh, my final thoughts on it, like I've said throughout this whole thing, Jindra should have just been a good guy. He should have just like he would have he would have done a bigger plot twist if he just played this straight. Mm-hmm. If it was just one time like Gindra's a good guy, we're doing, and he and he dies on Ichigo's watch, and Ichigo has to overcome all of that, killing somebody, and realizing that just because you're powerful, it doesn't mean you can stop everything. Sharp, sharp. I think that would have been a much better arc. But yeah, yes. we got there's some cool that stuff. That would have saved in. it. I love the designs. Like Gindra's sword looks dope. Gindra's bankai, even though it looks weird and had has no name, it was nice to look at. But outside of that. Oh. King to himself looks dope, though. That's not like... Yeah, like, I'm saying, outside of that, like, the thing is, Kubo gave up on the story here. This was when I was like, yeah, he mm. doesn't... <laughs> actually, yeah, the design's actually pretty dope. Like, most of the characters, like, I can't actually hate on any character in terms of their design. Including Ichigo's boss. So. No, I mean, yeah. Even even dirty boots, bro. Dirty boots, like she looked great. Hey, when I did dirty boots, I really wanna say he don't girl, really care about us. These yeah, boots are with, gonna work all yeah. over you. I think even in the manga cover, they show her like about to eat like, a donut or something. Zuko, her boots can walk over me anytime, but Whoa. I don't remember her name. Dirty <laughs> boots. This, this is me and Rukia singing that song about my, from Michael Jackson. <laughs> Beat down, smack down every day, smack down, so taken, <laughs> so taken back, I take in everything. <laughs> All hey, I really she... want to say, she didn't really care about us. Rookie won, my guy. Rookie won her fight, so let's give her that. She won it as a bunny, but still. <laughs> as a bunny, Kabang. So... I think this is, the, this is the girl that I'm, I was talking about. The boss. Let's see how you. I know who you're talking about. Just value of the one. 
Let's no, see no, we are starting. Let's see who you're talking about. Not the boss. I was talking about the, the other food bringer that we haven't spoken about. The one that's eating a donut or something on the cover, on the manga cover. That's probably the pink haired chick. That's yeah. the that's the bunny chick. Yeah, oh, yeah that's, that's the yeah, that's her that's the chick that turns uh, Rookie into a bunny. That's the that pink thing, that weapon with the heart in it, that's the thing that she transfers people to in a to the bunnies to. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. Okay. Anyway, guys, I think that's yeah, that's it. Design, like yeah. But look at the designs. Like look at this. Oh. The design. Oh. Uh, look how cool the the characters are. Look at um. Look at Ginjo. Look at uh, Tsuki. What's his name? Like these. Look at the Ichigo's full brain. Like the designs are fire for this. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. but Devela has no care for this arc, like okay. zero care. Like okay, guys. Um, thank you so much, guys, for checking us out. And once again, this is Africa is next podcast with the awesome foursome: Devela Khala, Zanuzuko, Mlambo, uh, Buckmeister Cool, and myself, Mister Extraordin. Please let us know your thoughts about this arc. Was it necessary? Was it good? Should Ginjo have been made a good guy the whole time? Should uh, should Tsukushima should have like Tsukushima should have been the main villain, right? Is that what should have happened? Please let us know. Yeah. Um, put it as a poll. You know, it should be an interest. Let's see if you can put it in a poll. Comment, put it up in a poll on Instagram, and let's see what happens. <laughs> Instagram. I don't know how to make an Instagram poll though. So you just add music to it. You just put a thingy, a poll okay. instead of music. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's, we'll, we'll figure it out. But anyway, yeah, like yeah. let us know. Talk to us in the comment section down below, not on WhatsApp, not via messages. Please talk to us in the comment section down below. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is assembly, assembly. And uh, just a few reminders. Uh, do check out Afro Geek um, on Develo's uh, Casey Media, um, the Geek Spot, the latest episode. Also, do check out Buckmaster's uh, webtoon. Um, uh, the Black Panther vs. Kang came out, I believe it's uh, issue number three. It came out recently. Please do check that out. Um, and uh, I'm sure there should be some content on my um, Buckmaster Cool. No, no, Meister Geek Media, right? Um, yeah, we're gonna yeah. be doing... Geek Media. There's some stuff on there. There's some stuff yeah. on there. Also, recently did a reaction on Buck My School Reacts that people can go check out. Right. Yeah, this stuff. Yeah, and uh, we recently did a review on Avatar The Last Airbender on uh, KC Media on Nerdgasm, the live action version. So, Develo's favorite. <laughs> because of my enlightenment, I shall forgive you. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is. Uh, uh, look, you see? <laughs> Piety. <laughs> I, I, I'm, 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 I'm levitating now. Uh, we are blessed to. Yes. Yeah, MT, anyway, uh, MT, guys, thank you so much for checking us out for this long. Uh, we shall see you on the next one. We are doing Naruto next. So at we, last, my body. Is my ready. Ready. Yeah, because Bugmeister, Bugmeister has been looking forward to this. If anything changes, then we'll do something else because of Bugmeister reasons. But yeah, we'll let you know. And uh, we'll see. stay tuned, and we shall see you next uh, later. Cheers. That's it, my